guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Anne and if you are new here please consider subscribing and for those who have subscribed I want to say thank you so much thank you for liking my videos thank you for subscribing so today we're going to to make so today we're going to make a baggy shot so guys I'm going to use this Robin Chankian and this one this is still a robin chunkian but it is thin and so we're going to start from the waist band going downwards so we're going to chain 13 for the waist band so you're going to to make a slip knot and i'm using 4.00 millimeter hook i don't know what you're using anything can do so we're going to change that in two three four five seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so we're changing thirteen and then And then we're going to do what we're going to do this single crochet from the first chain up here we're going to leave the first chain and then on the second we're going to do the single crochet and do the single crochet all the way in each and every stitch downwards So this is a single crochet. So I'm done with the row one. I'm done with row one and I have uh, 12 single crochets. So I'm on row two. I'm going to chain one. Chain one and then turn your walk back and then we are going to do the single crochet on the back loops only. So this is the back loop. So we do the single crochet on the back loops only and repeat the process until the end. So do the back loops only until you arrive here on the last one. I'll tell you what to do. So I'm here just on the right before the last one. So the last, the last one we're going to do the butt loops. So the front, we're going to take the front loop and the back loop, both of them, and do the single crochet. So whenever we reach here, we're going to do the sing, the butt loops, but the rest of the stitches, we're going to do the back loops only. So on row three, we're going to chain one. We turn back, and then we do the single crochet on the the back loops only. Sorry. So we chain one, right? We chain one. We turn back, and then I had say that yeah, we're going to do the both loops so the front and the back loops but the rest we're going to do the back loops only we do the back loops until we reach the hand here still the back loops so i'm at the hand we do it at the back loops so row four we're going to chain one and do the same the same thing we've been doing the back loops But when we reach here, we're going to do, at the last part of the stitch, we're going to do the both loops. I hope you understand that. So let me show you the last part, and then I will leave you to do it alone. So this is the last part, we're going to do the both loops. And then you chain one, and then you do the both loops again. 
and then on the rest you're going to do the back loops only so i'm going to leave you to do your waistband until you're done i'll come back and tell you how many i have so you make sure you measure your waistband so that you can know how long you you're going to do this waistband so mine is 26 so i'm going to do yeah something like that and so i'll come back later okay so i'm done i have 66 i have 63 lots lots of single crochets so we're going to join the hands together so we're going to chain one we chain one and then we join the hands together so we're going to take the first stitch both loops this first stitch the first stitch both loops and the second stitch both loops and do the slip stitch you pull up the loop and and that is it so you take the second stitch both loops all this and the second stitch both loops and you pull up the loop and that is it so this is what we're going to do join this together so we join this together until you reach the end and the last one so we have joined this together this is for the size small and i'm using a thick yarn okay so we're going to turn inside out on the right place so that we can we can hide this first of all i have to change the color of the yarn so i'm going to change this color okay so so i will cut this yarn and then to do the single crochet for starters so you chain one and then you yarn over no single crochet we have to do the single crochet first for our base so you place a single crochet in each and every space of the row so the next part here and make sure you use a something a slip uh, a stitch marker so i'm going to use this for a stitch marker to mark the beginning and continue doing this the single crochet all the way around in each and every stitch in each and every row so do the single crochet in each and every row until you arrive here where you did this you place the stitch marker and then I'll tell you what to do next. So we are at the end, so we are not going to do the slip stitch here on the where there's a stitch marker, but we're going to put 
another single crochet here so here where there is a single crochet right here we are going to, to put our stitch marker again right and uh, we're going to continue so this time we're going to do the so the next this second row we're going to do what we're going to do the half double crochet and after double crochet we're going to to yarn over and put yeah gosh it's really tight And then we are over and we pull through all three and then on the next stitch we're going to do the two half double crochet so this is one and then two on the same stitch and the next stitch we're going to put one half double crochet and the next stitch we're going to put two half double crochets So the next stitch we are going to do one the next we are going to put two so it's going to be repeated like that it's going to be one two one two one two until all round so repeat the process so this is two and then we're going to go for one and you repeat the same same process until you arrive here and then i'll show you what next so guys we are at the end so what we're going to do we have to remove the stitch marker remove the stitch marker this is one and remember we were doing one two one two so we're going to insert here two two of double crochet So we're going to put our stitch marker here. Here. Okay, so guys, row three, we're going to go on row three. So row three, we're going to do have double crochet in each and every stitch have double crochet in each and every stitch so you from row 3 to row 11 we're going to do the normal half double crochet no increase no decrease so we're going to do the half double crochet in each and every stitch All round so this is what we're going to do through through three through eleven we're going to do the normal half double crochet when you arrive here you remove the stitch marker you place another half double crochet here and continue with your half double crochet as you go and don't lose the stitch marker because it's going to tell us where our middle part is so guys go ahead and do your half double crochets until you reach uh, 11 until you reach 11 rows i will be back when i have 11 rows now that we are done with four 11 rows we are going to go on the 12th row and on the 12th row we're going to do Half double crochet one, two, three, and then four. So we have four half double crochets from here, and then on the fifth one, we're going to do two half double crochets in one stitch. So we're going to do one and then two. 
so we have two double crochets in one stitch and then we will we will have four double crochets in each stitch again we have one two three four and then on the fifth one we are going to do an increase of two half double crochets so we are doing the increase so after after four half double crochets we will we are going to have two half double crochets in one stitch and then that's what we're going to do after four half double crochets we're going to place on the next stitch we are going to place two half double crochets so now that we have two we are going to go on one two three four on the next one we're going to do one and two so this is what we have so we started from here we had four and then on this the next one we have two in one stitch and then we have four and then two in one stitch four and then two in one stitch so that's what we're going to do we are going to to do a uh, four half double crochet and then two half double crochet in one stitch so that's what we're going to do then repeat this all round so now that we have two we are going to make four half double crochets on the four stitch four stitches so this is four and then on the next the next stitch you're going to do two so this is it so guys i guess you know so continue the same same process as you go okay so we are here this is where our stitch marker was so i'm going to remove this stitch marker and then we have four one two three four i have double crochet so on the last part we are going to do two half double crochet so and then our stitch marker here so this is our 12 row so from row 13 to row 36 we're going to do a normal half double crochets no decrease no increase so we are going to go on the normal half double crochets all round until you have 36 stitches that is where until you have 36 rows that is where we are going to separate our leg our right side and our left so continue with your your normal half double crochets in each and every stitch until you have 36 36 rows so yeah continue with your normal so this is how it looks like so we're going to continue with with our half double crochets normal one until you have 36 36 stitches 36 rows yeah and then i'll show you what to do next so guys i'm done with this so we're going to separate the, the left leg and the right leg so i count my double my half double crochet around and i have one 162 i have 162 so my middle part is going to be 81 so i have my middle parts here so we're going to chain 10 for the right leg so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i'm going to to slip stitch here this is my middle part so 
So this is it. And then I'm going to to turn and I'm going to make double crochet half double crochet all the way around just the way I did on the body part so yeah so the next part I'm going to do the double crochet okay all round I'm going to start from one leg so start from only one leg I'm going to go around like this I will leave this leg and come back for it when I'm done with this so I'm going to do the half double crochet all the way around in each and every stitch actually this is 26 row from from here down to this place I have 26 rows of half double crochets So this is row one of the leg part. And I'm going to use a stitch marker here. Where is it? So let's place the stitch marker here. And I'm not going to chain one and turn. So I'll do the half double crochet when I reach here. I will show you what to do with this. So here we are. So you're going to put a half double crochet here, just normally. So ensure you have uh, complete stitches. I had 10 here and this is 10. So yeah, don't miss. And uh, we put here uh, as double crochet just the same and then you push your stitch marker here and then we continue with the same no slip stitching just like the body just like the body just like the body part no slip stitching i mean so you continue with this So here is the end of row 2 and then we're going for row 3, row 4 and row 5 for the leg part with the same same pattern. So we're going to do 5 rows for the leg. So I have 2 rows now. I'm going for row 3. The same same pattern. Then after I have 5 rows I'll come back and show you what next to do. Okay, this is the last one, guys. So, we are at the row 5. So, we are not going to do the after double crochet anymore. We are going to do what? We are going to slip stitch inside here. And then we are going to do the single crochet. As we go, we are going to go back. So, we are going to chain 1. And then you turn back and go back with a single crochet 
So So we are doing the single crochet We are doing the single crochet all round and then we will slip stitch at the end here we will do the slip stitch here at the end so yeah okay this is the last one we have to remove this stitch marker and then single crochet here and then a slip stitch right here and we're done we are going to cut the yarn So we are done with the first leg, or our, our right leg, or is it a right, uh, a left leg? So this is it, guys. It's really baggy. <laughs> See? So this is our left leg. This is what we have. So we are going to do to work on this other leg. Okay. So I'm going to start on this other side. So yeah, I'm going to start from this place. So you insert your hook. Yeah. And then Actually, let's do this. Okay. So we're going to continue with what? With our single crochet here. No single crochet, it's a half double crochet. Just the way we did this other leg, so we're going to do this crochet single. We are going to do half five half double crochets. Okay, so continue, then I'll show you what to do when you're right here. Okay. Okay, so we are here. So we are going to do just the same. Since we have a big hole here, in order to cover this hole up, we are going to do this. And then with the second, the next hole here. And then we pull through all of them. so you see the hole is not big anymore and yeah so we continue with our half double crochet in each and every stitch so make sure you have 10 just as you had 10 on the other leg So how many? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. Sorry. So we have ten of this. So this all again in order to cover this all. Go through this, go through this. Let's go through this. And then. Oh, that is it. 
so we're going to on the second second row we're going to do the half double crochet again until we have five five rows just the way we have five rows of this so we have one we are going for the second row so this is the last fifth row and then we're going to slip stitch here so we we'll remove that and then we slip stitch here instead of doing a half double crochet with slip stitch and then we're going to chain one and turn and do the single crochet all the way around and then we'll come and slip stitch here again So do the slip stitch all round. So I have slip stitch here and we're going to cut the yarn. We will sew this out from inside. So die. We are done. We are done with this. You can see how it is, right? So we're done with this. So the next thing is we are going to sew the where our belt will go through. So you will use uh, your needle. You will use needle for that. So let me just show you how to for the belt here yeah. so going to chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this 10 and then add 2 1 2 and then we're going to skip this 2 and then we're going to do the double crochet on the third one so and then we continue with the double crochet all the way down in each and every stitch You can use uh, this okay. and we done here so this is like a string that will hold the belt here okay. and then we will do this so you will make this like a Let's say this is one, one, two, three. You will need five of these, and then you set up where you want to start from. This is the middle part. So we just sew this like this. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to sew this like this, and then we are done. So make five of this, and then use the needle to sew this out. 
and yeah we are done with the with the shot thank you so much guys for watching thank you so much for those who haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe and like you press that like button and i will really really appreciate it so thank you so so much